Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is a Raid Shadow Legends video. Guys, we just had some news drop that during this Clan v Clan there was going to be a 10 times chance to get certain champions. I'll go through those. Don't forget, Clan v Clan starting tomorrow is going to have personal rewards in. So I guess if you are going to be dumping resources into this Clan v Clan competition, then at least you're going to have a chance to win yourself some big personal reward stuff as well. I think. I'm a free to play. I'm actually curious to see how this goes down because Clan v Clan for a new account is actually really big. If you can get yourself into a decent clan, you get a lot of extra stuff. So if I win, or if our clan wins tomorrow, you know, not only do you get all of these extra chickens, which are really good, we'll be tier one, I think. But yeah, not only do you get all the extra chickens, then personal rewards on top of that, chance to get a whole bunch more extra chickens. So I will be going at this. Uh, you know, and trying to get as many points as I can within the realms of not burning everything. So you know, I've been I've been saving up, for example, my books to use for this point. I'm saving up my upgrade, which I'm going to get myself my next six star champion tomorrow. I guess comment down below actually be a good one for for the video. Who would you six star out of these? Ronda, Cornelia, or Stimfos? They're my like three that are really in the mix for me to be interested in. Ronda will give me more clan boss damage. Cornelia can kind of solo a whole bunch of stuff. And Stimfoss is going to be used in a lot of my dungeon content. I'm already using all three of them. So yeah, which one would you six star out of those? But definitely tomorrow I'm going to be throwing my resources at upgrading stuff and trying to get some points on the board for Clan v Clan. It's also worth kind of looking at where the objectives come in. So know which dungeons for example give you additional points there is going to be speed gear available to be farmed i think on the final day maybe it's sooner than that let's just have a quick look finite's on for another two days so i think it might be the final day that speed gear turns on or maybe it's not Who's i think it is though i think it is so yeah you might want to be saving up some some resources to kind of do the dragon farm for the final day up to you anyway let's get on to the, the champions then so Tomorrow, there's going to be an enhanced rate on Void Champion or A Void Champion, and it's the big fella, Krisk. People know my thoughts about Krisk. He is an absolute beast. Obviously, 10 times events. We're going to probably find out about a new fusion before the end of the week. Generally, Void Charge, you want to save for that type of stuff, but obviously, Krakens or whatever, they will pull whenever. Or if you're on a YOLO type of vibe, like I am on the free to play, then maybe at least YOLO with a purpose. So. Um, you know, if you've got the odd Void Shard, maybe it's worth a pop and see if Chris pops out the other end. He's got an AoE decrease speed, awesome for Hydra, awesome for general content, really, an absolute carry, this dude. He's got AoE hit with Ally Protect for your team. Honestly, if anyone pulls this guy for the free-to-play series, it's like a home run. It's an absolute home run, and all of your bases were stacked. That's what getting Chris is like. And you won the race. And you won the match <laughs> because of that home run. That's, that's what this, this dude is like. Um, so yeah, he's got ally protect for your team. He's got heals for himself. Increases buff duration. And then he's got an AoE provoke as well as um, more buffs going on. He's also got, by the way, if I take a hit, I'm going to put decreased defense and attack on that person that hit me. And I'm going to give you a big fat shield whenever we start a new round. Crazy base stats. This guy... Is one of the best champions in the game for sure. Next dude, then, is one of the new chaps. Uh, is he this faction? I thought he was. No. Let's see. Let me see. see. If I can get it in two. Got to be this one. Yes. Korugar, Death Bell. Thought he was an orc. So, this guy, I've done some testing. I've done a video with him alongside Pythian just before Pythian kind of got collected by a load of people, a clan boss run. He is. Very, very cool. He's a very, very good new champion. Looks sweet as well. Um, A1 heals this champion from his A1, 10%. A2 is a turn meter fill for your team. Also a bit of a cleanse for your team as well. And A3 is ally protect and strengthen. So this is a great clan boss ability. This is nice in clan boss as well. So it means you can run slower and self-healing as well. It's also got increase this champion's resistance and defense by 10% for everyone who's got ally protection on. So basically, you can get another 40% defense. That's insane, by the way. That's insane. Um, but also, he gives his teammates 
ally protect um sorry gives his teammates defense and resistance for each of the friends with ally protect so you're basically giving all of your team 20 percent defense as well which is crazy as well so yeah this dude is the real deal hp in all battles um really really strong champion i do have two yolo ancient shards on the free to play i will be playing those tomorrow never know might be my first legendary is that dude who knows anyway guys i've been hell hades good luck if you are going to pull shards but do remember it's not an ideal time to be pulling any sort of shards these events tend to be a bit of a bait event unless you are going crazy yolo like the uh the free to play series is anyway i've been hell hades i'll catch you later